All right, there he is. All right, got to get going for the all or all. I kind of wish you wouldn't. I will mute the Discord stream now. And we're going to be going straight into it. Looks like yeah, we'll play Giga, some... reliable PvP. Yeah, reliable. Now I actually know what it is, so I can call it out. Yeah, Giga going for some sort of STSD follow-up. Yeah, that's really... Oh, it looks like he thought he could have PC'd that, but he could not have PC'd that. Regrettable on, on his behalf, but you know. He's rolling fine. Duck's got a nice well here, gets good garbage access. He's gonna skim down, which is, you know, the safe play here. Gets access to his other wall, and seems to be going pretty well for Duck right now. Prince out from Giga, and he's also. Uh, this is not gonna be the easiest port to down stack, especially while Duck's at the very bottom of his field sending pressure. Yeah. We'll just have to see how Giga's gonna... That one SP's placement didn't really do much for, for Giga there, and... Duck's just taking advantage of all this time to send as much pressure as he really needs to. But that's not the optimal uh, J placement there, but Duck finds the right skims. Yeah, and... Duck may have a little Rin here, I think, if, I, if my eyes aren't fooling me here. No, I think he has a lot of Ren here, one might even say. Yeah. You could and even say a fatal amount of Ren. Yeah. That, that's a four wide's worth of Ren right there for Duck, and he's going to take that round. Really nice from Duck. Giga going for a little bit of DT here, Duck going for a little bit of DKI. Yeah. Giga preemptively committing to a C-spin follow-up here, but he's going to skim his way out of it and just take a T-spin. And yeah. going for that SGSD as well, that's really nice from Giga. Ooh, Duck has a huge well, but his eyepiece comes in the latest possible position, and it's going to cost him there. Oh, really? Yeah, look, the two eyepieces were aligned in the queue, one one after the other. Ouch. Really, really unfortunate for Duck. Yeah. Duck going for a 6-3 stack. It is also, again, going for... I, I haven't seen people, like, doing a, the DT cannon as, like, an opener at, like, a high level in a while. So this is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's declining in popularity. You still see the likes of uh, Amamiya doing it, but... <laughs> Many, many people have moved away from the DT can in favor of uh, more modern openers like Gamashiro stacking. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe that's not such a bad thing, if you put it yeah. that way. But, a but yeah, nice six combo tops out Duck, who accepted a bit too much garbage. Yeah, and at the very beginning, you know, Duck was at the very top of his guild and he sent a lot, and Giga actually tanked it before sending the C-spin over, so... Yeah. So Duck just air pieces a PC there. Mm. And a C spin coming through from Giga. It looks like he really likes that um, DT cannon C spin. He's doing that pretty much every round now. Yeah, and he, he's really committing to it each time, regardless of the pieces available. And it looks like he just put that eyepiece where the eyepiece doesn't belong. Yeah, and that may. Be fatal for him as Duck is going to take that garbage and send yeah. over Tetris and a TSD, and Giga can't get to the well. Yeah, Giga can uh, all here for a little while, but it's not going to change the inevitable outcome, which is going to be a victory for Duck in this round. Yeah. All right, two two, or as they would say in certain sports, two all. Uh. Do they do that? They do. I can never tell with you because, like, I, I just anticipate whenever you say, it, you know, you know what they say, it'll immediately be followed by something that no one has ever said. So that may be true. But you know what they say: a dime's a dozen, but a pear is an apple on Tuesday. So yeah. I don't know what to tell you. And 
Duck's gonna take another round here, which is some clean back-to-backs. Yeah. And Duck is gonna... Oh! Ooh. Okay. Maybe so a little bit like of... We got a little bit of DC cannon going off here. And yeah. we're gonna have to do a little measure and act in to get this match back back on its feet. I believe it was 3-2 for Duck before the match. Uh, it was. Well, or 3-3. 3-3. Three, 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 three. Yeah. Wait, what? Three, Wait. Three? I thought no, it was 3-2, three, three. but people it were was... saying 3-3. Three, three. No, it was 3-2. Pretty sure it was 3-2. It was 3-2 for Duck. But yeah, it's really, it's really fortunate that... Um... Well, you want to look back in the VOD? Because I'm 100% sure it was 3-2. But yeah, it's good that that happened in the freaking like cutscene where you know the characters are doing their stuff, and not yeah. you know in the middle of a game because you don't want that. Yeah, really do not want that. I don't know. This is now what the kids call optimal. Yep, three two. I don't know, dude. <laughs> This, I was so confident it was 3-2 that I would, like, bet a, a, a very specific amount of money on that. Yeah. I might even say I would go to Atlantic City and bet, bet about $8,000 on that. That's a story for another time. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. <clears throat> Duck is asking when I would stop gambling, and that's a very good question. I would only stop gambling once I made double on that money. I made thousand dollars. Oh wait, nope. no, you just said a specific amount of money. I can't say anything. No, no, it is, it is indeed eight thousand. If you head in Atlantic City, that's the only amount you could be gambling. Really? I mean, you can gamble other amounts. It's just wrong. Oh, I see. All right. In the meantime, we're waiting for this match to get going again. Yeah, seems like one of the hardest um, hurdles to, you know, jump over is actually creating the room. So, okay, we've finally done it. And now this match can be underway again. Yeah. All Gigawatt has to do is join, and there he is. There he is. The man himself. Hopefully I'll have a change of heart and not pick Alt Arl again, but just in case I still have the stream muted. <laughs> okay, I was too Ooh. Looks like Duck is going for the power move here and picking Alt Felly. Oh, Giga's Wi Fi went out. It wasn't PP's fault. Okay. Yeah, it, it, that, that's good to know. Well, yeah. You know, people are always going to be quick to blame the old Puyo Tet for that, but good to know that it was not, in fact, the old Puyo Tet responsible for the uh, disconnection here. Did they switch sides? Yes, actually, they did. This is gonna be hard to get used to. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we got Duck doing a little bit of that sidewell stacking, but he's gonna get down, gets access to the garbage, he's gonna have a 5 combo. Yeah, and Giga's gonna counter most of it, because he actually went for a TST and got it off pretty cleanly as well. So, yeah. still has a lot of room to be sending as much damage as he wants to, and Duck is just at the very bottom of his guild. Yeah, it's unfortunate big, for like, Duck. Yeah, that's a big spike for Giga. He didn't get the garbage to spawn in a place that would have allowed him to continue that combo, which I'm sure would be preferable, but it's not gonna cost him yet. He is gonna have a challenging time down stacking this, and Giga doesn't let up with the pressure. Yeah, Giga's speed is really yeah. gonna come into play there. It's going to be 3-3. Three, three. Now it's 3-3. Three, three. Alright. Duck with his, uh... His John TSD, an opener that he is... Seems to be pretty partial to. It's a 
good opener, what can I say? It is. What can he say, rather? L placement, but he's gonna get through this pretty quickly. As you do, with rough mistraps. Yeah. And... Giga's got a lot of pressure here, so... You know, Duck's gotta start doing some back-to-back -back here or something, because, I don't know, Giga's, Giga's sinning a lot. Yeah, Duck is, is low on his board, but he's gonna opt to go for the safe route here and get through his cheese. He's playing a little bit almost... Play. He's playing a little bit almost too safe, I feel, but... It is working, so I can't really say it. Er, yeah, it worked his part. favor there because getting through the cheese allowed him to get to that clean garbage well that he got right after for that free Tetris. Yeah, and Giga has a lot of clean garbage here, so this may fall danger for Duck. I'm not sure though, because yeah. stacking over that garbage well is going to make it difficult to down stack, and Giga's got a lot of pressure here. Duck trying to figure out how he wants to down sack this. Finds a good option. And he might go for some Ren. Doesn't look like he's going to. He didn't have that great Ren prospects there. And that misdrop is going to seal the deal. And it's going to be 4 3 for Giga. Yeah, it's a rough misdrop to have. Right, looks like Duck opening with some 5 4 for Skim. Do another skim. This is what I mean. Like it's a little bit too safe. I don't know. Yeah, but he he finds a four combo, so not the worst situation to be in. He goes like the polar opposite, going for a freaking Trinity over here. Yeah. And uh, it kind of works, but the thing with Trinities is you always end up with like one side being like way uh, higher than the other, unless it's like a very clean Trinity. So you typically don't want to go for them. Yeah. Unless you, of course, want a really uneven field, which I don't think you ever want that. Duck's gonna keep stacking here. Going for some T-spins, trying to figure out a way to attack while getting down to this garbage. Yeah, and Giga's gonna go for a DT there. I, I, that was a really uh, interesting decision, considering it covered his garbage hole, but... Ooh. I suppose it does work at in the end. Yeah, 5-3 for Giga here. Yep, both players going for PKI. Looks like Giga's gonna get the PC. Yeah, Duck gets some clean garbage though. And he's finding a little bit of a combo here to get to this swallow. Finds a 4. He's gonna skim into that T-spin double setup. Alright, missed drop, but he's gonna go for somewhat of a little donation there, and now he's gonna have to burn through both his eyepieces here if he's gonna want to get out of it. Yeah, but Gugu also doesn't have much to do on his own board, so Duck can take a little bit of time to try to get down, but not not a not... lot of time. Not yeah. enough time to be wasting an eyepiece, that's for sure. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be rough for him, and it's gonna be it's gonna be six to three for Giga here. Yeah, both players going for PKI, always once again. Neither player uh, breaking the 7 2. Looks like Duck will be the first one just so he can down stack. Giga still yet to get any garbage on his guild, it looks like, but. That TP Smith prop is gonna bug him a little bit, get him out of that 7 2. Yeah, Giga is. Not finding the greatest ways to deal with what he's got going on here. But Duck isn't in the world's greatest spot either. He's going to have to find a, a way to get down here while still keeping the pressure up on Giga if he's going to want to take this round. Looks like he finds a very good Fractal though. And that IP Smith drop for Giga is going to be brutal and there's no way out for him. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure about that, um, that Fractal considering it covered as well, but, you know, I guess it all worked out in the end. Yeah, it's gonna be 6-4. Yeah. 
MKO coming out from Duck, I approve. Yeah, there's no PC there, but Duck still maintains a clean board here. Playing the advantage too. A really uh, interesting way to fix that. Um, this drop from Giga. Yeah, Play Duck playing a six combo while Giga's stuck down stacking. Yeah, this could be a good chance for Duck. Look at that garbage too. Compared to Ducks, this is definitely looking good for Duck. Yeah. And Giga has. A uh, mess going on with his garbage here, and that TP's oh. placement is doing him no favors. Mm. And it's gonna be six to five. No favors. <laughs> yeah, let's see what these players can do. It looks like Duck has a pretty uh, good down stack here. Yep. Making a clean setup. Do a little bit of good copy. Mm -hmm. And uh, Giga is also gonna benefit Duckin. Oh, that J piece is gonna top out Giga, and now I believe this is a tiebreaker. I'm not sure. I believe so. Yeah, I think this is gonna be six six. So game point or match point or whatever you, whatever the kids want to call it these days. We're doing a little bit of the tie break and stuff, so yeah. Giga's got a TKI PC. The garbage isn't oh, fast. That duck finds a good way. Ooh, Giga has a monstrosity of a misdrop to work through. That is really not what you want. And there, th this is gonna take a miracle for Giga to get out of this. Especially with and, that garbage from Duck as well. Yeah, and Duck is gonna take it. This is no way out for Giga. Aww. <laughs> and that's GG's. Yeah, GG's. Duck coming with the upset. Giga with some really poorly timed misdrops. And that's gonna be it. Yep, really well played from both of those. Was that like... I feel like there's been a lot of tiebreakers this tournament. Maybe there's yeah. only been two, including this one, but I don't know. Uh, I, feel I believe like... there was like three. I think Jim versus um, 